Hey guys, today I have something new for you and it's falling blocks. So we, this is a data pack that I made to change any block that you want into a falling block, just like that. So you can apply motion, you can do whatever you want with it actually. Um, I'm going to show an example later, uh, but for now let me just show you that it works with any block that you want. So let's say that you want to use uh, bird stars, fine. <laughs> um, you can change it to falling sand. Just like that, you can even change its rotation, that's going to keep that information. And even turn it around, just like that. And you can see that it's going to keep the shape, even after it turns back into a block. Um, but well, it also works with blocks with NBT data, so like furnaces. And not only it's going to keep the items, but also it's going to keep the information, every information, so the progress bar, for instance. You can see that it kept that. So that's really nice. You can also use it with command box. So it's going to keep every information. Uh, just like that. You can I even change it. You can type anything over here. You can see that it's going to change. Just like that. <laughs> it's going to change and keep every information that you change it. Into. Well, the last thing I want to show you is that it not only works with redstone, but also with multiple blocks at once. And well, I think that's basically it. So now let me show you the way this works. And it's by using armor sand, armor stands. And actually the first thing that I'm going to do is the, actu the first thing that I do is to summon an area effect cloud at the block that I want to change and then I'm going to summon the thermal sand and what it does is use it uses the loot command to get the information from this block over here now the loot command is actually a little bit limited it doesn't give all of the information that I want so for instance if I want to get the information from a button I can't with the loot command uh, know if this is on a wall or if it's on the ground, but this data pack fixes just that. Um, and it does that by using loot tables. So there is a loot table for every item that has a different block states. So like these buttons over here or the stairs I showed before. And these loot tables tell that every time that the loot command uses a special item, it's going to keep all of the information, such as the block states and the NBT data, on the blocks. And I can show that using the data mats. You can see that not only keeps the information from the block itself, but the block states over here. And that's really nice. So after that, I can just summon a um, falling sand and give the information to the falling sand. So if I get the information over here, you can see that now I can transfer this information that is on the armor sands to the falling block uh, over here. <laughs> Now, you can notice that the, this doesn't look like a button <laughs> and there's actually um, one thing that is not actually a bug because Mojang Mo that said that they are not going to fix that but when you change the information from a sand block uh, to, for instance, a knock button it's not going to change its appearance um, and the the way I found around that is actually, is actually, actually <laughs> to send this into unloaded chunks, actually loaded chunks, but uh, far away from you, so it's not hindered. And when it comes back, just like that, it hinders again and turns into the block that you want. And well, <laughs> and that's everything that you that you want. And that, that's the, the way it works. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> now let me just show one last thing that uh, it's one application from this. So this is a map that I made just to play a little bit, a little bit with the falling blocks. And what this does is just that every time you shoot an arrow, you can pick up some blocks and throw them wherever you want. Just like that. It also works with water, so you can make a little, 
a little bit of a mess. <laughs> But well, that's basically it, and that's everything that I wanted to show you. I hope that this data pack is useful for you. I'm going to leave um, uh, downloads for the world that I was showing, uh, showcasing the blocks, and also uh, downloads for the data pack itself. And also, I will put in the description in the description the command to summon the area effect cloud that turns the block into a um, falling block entity. But oh well, <laughs> I think that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.